Nothing like a little yard work in my house. Just like the old days. Oh yeah, nothing like that. <coughs> you know, I would love to see Red. What was going to do here? Yeah, then why is it that I'm standing here doing all the digging? Why you two is keep a lookout? Hey, Pete, why is it the new guy is always the troublemaker? You remember what happened to the last troublemaker that joined the old family? Yeah. I think it was buried right in here somewhere. Don't worry, you wouldn't have to dig your own grave. There's no class in it. Keep digging, tough guy. No problem, boss. Listen, fellas, what the boss wants, the boss gets. And if we have to get our hands dirty for the boss's work, then I smile an extra coin in my pocket. No big deal. Listen, what do you want me? What do you think? Why don't you take this shovel and help me bury the stiff before the cops show up? Why could I not remember anything? I obviously had some kind of amnesia, and 
John Henry's hammer was trying to outdo that steam engine right inside my head. I tried hard to recall any of the events of the past week. It was all a blur. I must have been onto something heavy from a case, or something from a case got heavy on me, and someone wanted me dead or out of the way. But who? I had a lot of questions to find the answers to, but I don't mind that. It's my job. That's what I do. I'm Johnny Howard, Private Eye. My sleep was restless as I began to dream. I was trapped inside that coffin, and I could hear the dirt being dumped on me, buried alive. I began to bang on the lid. Let me out! Let me out! The rooster! The dream was over, man. That was the story of my life. But the banging did not stop. It took me a while to realize that someone was banging on my door. I wondered who it could be. I wondered if I would be able to recognize the person, and if not, would I be able to fake it and not let on that I had amnesia? Yes? Mr. Howland? Yes, why don't you come in? That's when she showed up. I can't believe I forgot her. A gal like that doesn't make an entrance twice in your life. But I was so mapped up. She could be my sister for all I knew. Said my sister looked like me, but ugly. I hate being vulnerable around women. But I had no choice in the matter. She seemed to have recognized me. That bothered me, because I had never seen her before in my life. But I couldn't remember anything from the past week anyway. Man, if she was a client, I'd really look like a muck if I didn't remember her. But I thought about the way she greeted me just then. It seemed obvious we'd never met before, at least not officially. What can I do for you? Mr. Howland, I, I need your help. May I sit down? I don't know where to begin. Why don't you start at the beginning? The beginning? Well, okay. My husband is dead. Is that good or bad? I want you to find out who killed him. Are the police looking for someone? The police report says it was an accident. They're not going to do anything. That's why I need you to find out who did this. Tell me about your husband, Mrs... Veronica. Veronica Rivers. My husband was Hanfield Rivers. How old was your husband, Mrs. Rivers? Oh, what does his age have to do with anything? Well, I was thinking if he was 110, he probably died of old age. Mystery solved. Quick cash for me. His car ran off the road into the river. He drowned. It was in all of the papers. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I think I do recall that one. The police did say it was an accident. I must confess, it sure sounds like one. What makes you think it wasn't? My husband drove that road every day, twice a day. I find it very difficult to believe that he could miss a curve. He's a very careful driver. So do you have any reason to believe why someone would want to do your husband harm? Yes, I do. So let's hear it. Mm. I don't know how much I should tell you. If you want my help, Mrs. Rivers, you have to tell me everything. Hiding information only makes my job harder, which in turn costs you more dough. Just how much money are we talking about? Sounds like a murder investigation. My life could be in danger. Yours will be. You can need protection. Fifty bucks a day plus expenses. Sounds fair. How long does it usually take you to solve a case? Well, that all depends. Depends on what? For starters, how much information are you willing to give me up front? I see. And what will you do when you figure out who did this? I will take all my information and evidence to the police. Let them sort it from there. They can make the arrest. And what do I get? Uh, the satisfaction of knowing that justice has been served and a murder is behind bars? That is, if it really is a murder. Oh, I know it is. That's why I'm here. Then perhaps we should get started. You can begin by telling me the names of all the people 